Schools these days invite business people into the classroom to prepare their students for the world of work more than they've ever done before. So if in spite of the input from business people, students are still coming out into the world of, of work unprepared for job interviews, what on earth is going wrong? Certainly isn't fair to blame, uh, blame it all on the, uh, the education system, is it? I want to share a theory with you. It's my theory, and theories can be wrong, even mine. So do not act on what I'm going to say unless you really believe that what I'm saying to you makes sense. But you see, in my opinion, the key to successful training in any area is continuity. A student doesn't always understand everything first time round. They may want the person who coached them to go through it again. But if the person who came into the classroom is a full-time business manager, they're never going to see him again, are they? That's not how we approach core curriculum training, is it? I mean, how would you feel if your school got rid of their full-time maths staff in favour of unpaid volunteers coming in to do a maths lesson once or twice a year? But this is how we approach employability training. And it's encouraged by the very people who are complaining about the standard. Business people. Unemployment right now is higher in the 18 to 25 year, year old age group than any other age group. And yet, the statutory requirement on schools to provide employability training has just been removed. I mean, that is a nonsense. Now, if that worries you, give me a ring. Let's talk about how we can work together to turn your son, your daughter, into a champion. My name is Barry Jackson. My number is 07795 288490. I'll be delighted to talk to you.